Next on the list is the advanced carousel. And you'd say, another carousel? Another image element? What's the difference? Well, you know, sometimes children, um, they will go to the mother and the father and say, Dad, Mom, which one of us do you love the most? And at that moment, you roll your eyes and you tell him, each one of you is special in your own way. <laughs> and that's more or less how we look at elements. They are all special in their own way. Sometimes it looks like they all do exactly the same thing. But I've yet to come across two elements that are hard copies of each other. There are slight variants and differences across the board. And it's important that when you start buying or adding all these add-ons to your page builder that you understand the differences and it can it can become a little bit overwhelming so it's good that you understand you know what each one can do let's look at the advanced carousel from crocoblock in the jet elements add-on and you'll find it of course here on the left and I'm closing all these bars, jet elements. And then almost here at the very beginning, here is the advanced carousel. Going to drag it in. Let's start with the advanced carousel. And a carousel, of course, naturally is going to display images. So what I'm going to do is click here, click here, and click on an image. And then we've got an image in there. Next thing, I'm going to add item number two. Interesting though, you'll see when I add item number one, it comes with this item number one, it comes with a description. But when I add the second one, it doesn't bring in anything of that nature. I'll explain to you why when we start looking at it, why I just draw your attention to that. I'm going to drag in quite a number of images because I want you to give the give you the full scope of what we can do with this advanced carousel item. You know, many tutorials one of the reasons I started making tutorials is that sometimes people will just open a page and the photos are already there. They've loaded everything and they start teaching you like, hey, where did you get that? Hey, how did you do that? And uh, that was one of the purposes long ago why I started this with clients is because I realized online tutorials assume too much. They assume people know exactly what you are talking about and it's not always the case. Hence the name, Websites for Beginners. Enough, blah, blah, blah. I've added seven items and all I did is that I've added an image to each of them. Let's observe two things first. And that is this one immediately here. You can see the dimensions is not the same ratio. So it displays like this. If you know me, I despise that. I cannot stand things that aren't equal. So we'll fix that soon. The next thing I want to show you is that what I pointed out at the beginning, this one comes in with stuff. You can type in a title here. You can give it a description. You can even add a button. So let's give it a button. Uh, give it that item link, item button text, and then say show more. Open link in new window. Of course, that will mean that it directs you to another page. Let's see, there's your button at the bottom. So you can do that. I'm not going to use a button, so I'm just going to delete it. So your button text will determine once the button appears. If there's nothing there, there's nothing here. Let's go and style around with it on this side. No, let's go back. I'm on settings. That's where I want to be. Now, this is what they call an items layout, which is simple and it's good enough. But I think what makes this carousel element advanced is the next next option, which is called banners. And once I select it, you may not immediately notice the change. But what it does now is it takes everything and it puts it inside. Why I showed you that at the beginning is I didn't add anything for these other ones. So you don't see anything inside. Let's do that. I just criticized other people for not doing it. So let's also go and do it. I'm going to just call it item number two and then blah, blah, blah. And to copy that and we do it for the others as well. Practice what you preach, right? Okay, uh, make it a few times. And then this one, item number four. Are you getting yourself a coffee while I'm typing? This will be over shortly, painless. Item number five and then paste it. And then we have two more to go. Hang in there, hang in there. 
What? Which one is this? Item number six. Let's paste it a few times for this one. And then the last one. Item number seven. All the typing at school doesn't pay off. For some reason, I cannot type for my life when I am doing these screen recordings. Now let's look at the updates. You will see now that the item plus it is there, but it's dark. They are appearing now. And this is under settings, items layout, banners. Let's go and change that color there of the title. So at least we can see that. And whenever we are talking about titles and colors, topography, it is under style. So banner items, that would be it. And normal. No, no, that's okay. Items, title, topography, topography, color, white. There we go. Now we can see that. Oh, nice. So what is happening here? Go back to content settings. And now we are going to look at the various animation effects. This one that you currently see, hover over it, title goes up and the description comes out, is called Lily. Next one is called Sadie. Do -do, Sadie. And Sadie puts the item in the middle. When I hover over it, it comes here at the bottom with another title plus a little bit of my description. Layla. And Layla does what? Ooh, Layla does nice lines, right? Very interesting. This is what makes this carousel different than others. It adds a little bit of, ah, like it. Wah, 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 like it. Oscar, Molly, a dog named Molly. It was a movie like that, right? This one is pretty nice. And this, of course, assumes that people will be hovering over it. That is an entire different thing we can talk about for hours and days, the controversy around sliders. Very nice. This is any photographer's best dream ever. And Baba. Usually I won't go through all of them, but they are so nicely done that I just want to show you all these animation effects. Something to get excited about. Ooh. Ooh. Almost a nice Ken Burns effect there, but not quite. Reverse can burns. Okay, this one is also reverse and Chico. Chico and the gypsies. Okay, right. So you have a very good idea of how these are done. I remember I liked Oscar, right? Which one was it? Oscar is pretty nice. Now the images here, full is going to be, I brought these in at 1280 pixels. So full is way too big. If you are displaying them like this, you can go for something like medium large. It's not going to change the size here. It's just going to reduce the amount of pixels that the website will be loading. This is the feature that is very important to me. Equal columns height. I often see features like this in page builders and they never work very well. But here we go for this one. Let me click on it. And now you will see it will stretch or ooh, come back. Load. Where is my equal? There we go. There. Now you see it is loaded and stretched it. That is what I like. So when developers can think like this and they understand what users will want from an application, I give it thumbs up five stars for this advanced carousel. I really like it. If I need to display any photographs in the future on any website in a carousel style, I'm going to be using this element. It's a done deal. Look at this next feature called fluid columns width. Very interesting one, this. Make it bigger. And now you have this one just peeking out from here and it will play like this. Not really my style. Let's go down. And let's give it three this time. And remember, when you start making it smaller, go back to image sizes here and now change it to medium. It's just going to benefit your website. Oh, but two, no. Let's go back to medium large. The white space is too much. I just want to check. Yes, okay. It's too small. Still medium large is good. Then again, slides to scroll. Currently, you will see it's moving one slide at a time to the left. I can change that to two. And when I do display three images, I like to change two so that it this one will move here. 
Let's observe that. Right, I do like that. Show arrows navigation. You've got that over here. You can unclick that and you can opt rather for dots navigation at the bottom if you want that. If you want the person to have no control over it, you just want it to play continuously in the background, you take away both. And then additional options is pause on hover. I like that. I would activate it so that when somebody hovers over it, it will pause the animation. Autoplay is currently on. Autoplay speed at 5,000 milliseconds, which is five seconds. It's on infinite loop, which means it just goes in a circle and loops, loops, loops. Animation speed means the transition. This transition takes half a second. 500 milliseconds is half a second. So advanced carousel, you know what we use it for. We use it to display images and it's done very well. However, you can make it much more than just a carousel of images as we had showed at the very beginning. If you click on this, you can add a button and now it becomes something like a call to action. Go back to the beginning. Oh, okay, yeah, because now it is put on, wait, it's not, it's a banner, it's not simple. So the button, bring it back to simple. There we go. Let's just put it again on banner and see if we hover over it. Okay, no button in that. So that is something that you can take notice of, that if you use the button, keep it on simple here at the bottom. Good, I really like this element a lot. It does what it says on the outside, highly recommended. This is the advanced carousel from Crocoblock. And this is JP here at Websites for Beginners.